In today's episode of Team Group Products, we are going to cover a low profile design DDR5 memory modules which uh, look quite nice. You have them in two varieties of colors because it comes in a red and a full black gloss design. And uh, these are Team Group T Force Vulcan Alpha DDR5 2 times 16 gigs at 6000 megahertz, but CL38. So comparing them to the past memory modules that I covered uh, that were 6000 megahertz CL40. So uh, we're going to see that how these function without a doubt. Now these are exclusive for AMD so um, I did use them on AMD logically and test them out just to see how will they perform compared to the past models that I reviewed. Uh, regardless of that here they are we have quite a nice low profile design the heatsink doesn't go way too much above the PCB board, so it's I think 2 millimeters uh, of height added to the whole complete RAM. It has a quite nice uh, design logo here, well basically the name of the memory modules, T-Force logo on top and here on front and at the back we have some detailed specifications, but that's it, that's all there is to it. Now what are these good for? For instance, if uh, you still want to have more advanced uh, memory modules comparing to their T-Create, which are more oriented towards gaming. You don't like RGB, but still you don't want to use an AIO. So these come in really handy for those uh, huge CPU tower coolers that cover the RAMs and you can't see the RGB lights. Uh, but you still want to have Team Group's memory modules that perform quite nicely, these are the ones that you could definitely go with because with the height they don't interact with the fan on the front even though now manufacturers of um, CPU air coolers now kind of tend to move the fan more towards the inside so you could actually place the RAMs normally and even place the cooler over there so they aren't hidden, right? But regardless of that, it's really low profile design and uh, quite nice and minimalistic. As I already stated, red and black, so you can combine whatever you wish or whatever you desire. Now for the benchmarks, uh, let's check those out and see what can we expect. AIDA64 Extreme Edition System Memory and Cache Benchmark, we have read speeds going up to 75,396 megabytes per second, write speeds going up to 75,958 megabytes per second, copy goes up to 67,684 megabytes per second and the latency is up to 73.8 nanoseconds. So the read speeds are lower by 4000 when we're comparing them to the uh, Mako DDR5 from PNY. Then we have write speeds that are also lower uh, even for 10,000 megabytes per second. And when we take into consideration the latency, latency is lower here on Vulkan Alpha by 1.1 nanosecond and then we go to the copy where the copy is almost the same 100 megabyte per second difference and what I can say here is that even though the read write speeds are lower copies the same uh, latency is much faster here uh, I think uh, these ones go into the segment of low profile design as I already stated at the beginning because the Mac or DDR5 are way higher and they have RGB lights on top. So this is where it diversifies and uh, I think these ones are quite all right in those terms. I think they're even more affordable and because of that quite solid altogether. Uh, the latency is where it surprises me because they do have lower latency and uh, this would be quite interesting for you guys if you're into something more snappier. So yeah, there's that. Uh, team Group T-Force Vulcan Alpha DDR5 2 times 16 gigs at 6000 megahertz CL38. The link is in the description. I'll try to find the red ones as well, so you could uh, match with your build or whatever you want to do with it. And that'll be all for today. Thanks for sticking by. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell for future content. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.